I decided to apply for the fellowship because I really became interested in policy uh, while I was in my graduate program in genetic counseling at Johns Hopkins University. Um, I was working with patients in the clinic and also uh, doing some research of my own, and I became really interested in how a change in policy can have a really wide range of effects for people on the ground across the country. Um, issues ranging from reimbursement to putting in place protections against genetic discrimination um, to inter uh, broadly integrating discoveries in, in genetics into healthcare. Um, so I decided to apply to the fellowship because it's a great opportunity to transition full time into a career in policy. So the first rotation of the fellowship is at the National Human Genome Research Institute in their policy and program analysis branch. Um, and while I was there, I was researching and drafting briefs on various issues in genome sciences and healthcare to keep institute leadership informed um, of a range of policy issues. For example, the 21st Century Cures Act that had recently been passed by the House of Representatives. Uh, one of the other projects that I was working on at NHGRI was uh, helping draft portions of the 2017 Congressional Budget Justification, uh, which is a document that every federal agency puts out to sort of tell Congress, here's how we're going to spend the money that we're asking for. For my second rotation, I worked for Senator Sheldon Whitehouse from Rhode Island. Um, and working on Capitol Hill is sort of a mix of day-to-day -day activities and longer-term projects. So on the day-to-day -day side, there's a lot of staffing the senator at meetings with constituents and at hearings um, and helping keep the senator informed about various issues that are going on at the time on the Hill. Um, and those issues, while I was there, ranged broadly from Medicare to Zika virus response to uh, biomedical research funding on a federal level to NIH and FDA policies to rare diseases. Um, so it's really a range of issues that I got to work on. So one of the long-term projects that I was working for uh, on the Hill was uh, national stakeholder outreach for a pilot program bill that the senator was working on to try to remove barriers to uh, providing advanced illness care for people at the end of their lives. At the same time, I was also working on planning a hearing that the Senate Special Committee on Aging was putting on uh, about end-of-life care. So that involved uh, doing witness vetting and planning the Senator's remarks at that hearing. For the last rotation of the fellowship, I've been working in the policy office at the American Society of Human Genetics. And one of the major projects that I've been working on here is researching a law that was passed last year in Kuwait uh, mandating compulsory DNA testing for all citizens, residents, and visitors to the country. Um, I've also been working on a project where I've been writing a report on two focus groups that ASHG put on at their annual meeting in Vancouver this year that were meant to elicit member perspectives on what ASHG should be doing in policy and what they should be advocating for on the Hill. The network of former fellows is really, I think, one of the major benefits of the fellowship, on top of just being a group of really impressive and interesting people that I'm glad I know. Um, they've also been really valuable in providing advice throughout my time in the fellowship on things as uh, varying as thinking through how I should pick my congressional rotation and also putting me in touch with people that I think I'd like to work with in the future. I think for people that are interested, in, that are early in their career and that are interested in transitioning to a career in policy, this is a really wonderful opportunity. Um, it's such a unique fellowship in that it allows you to see three really different areas of science and health policy uh, by working both in the federal agency side and then on the Hill. Uh, and then lastly, in a nonprofit professional society, the fellowship really exposes you to three really different areas and helps crystallize your thinking about next steps if you are interested in making that transition.